welcome to Art Studio. My name is Wayne Clements, your host for the next half hour. And as you can see, we're in the black again. So we're gonna turn this into a painting. So what are we gonna do? We better have some colors here. And we've got some titanium white, of course. We're gonna go around our palette and have a look at the colors. We've got some uh, ultramarine violet, ultramarine, sorry, which we've actually mixed with a bit of white. That's ultramarine out of the tube. And there's some white with it as well. So a little bit of that's coming into play. We've also got some yellow ochre we've tinted. We've got some, I'm not sure what colors we're gonna throw in here, so we'll go around the whole lot. So we've got some Volution Violet, we've got some orange, we've got a little bit of uh, red with a little bit of pink, a little bit of white in it to create this pretty little pink we've got. I think there's a little bit of orange in there too, but a little bit of yellow. Got some darks, we've got our burnt umber, we've got some black, we've got some of this color here that I've mixed up with a bit of phthalo blue, and it's also got black in it, and it's also got a touch of white, and that's it with actually being uh, thinned out with a little bit of white too, so it's been tinted. Same colour, bit of white in it, there's the result, here we are, a little bit of violet here, it's the dioxazine violet, and we've also got a little bit of green, don't know if that's going to come into play, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is going to be a little street scene with some people, and I'm really not even sure what's going to happen here, so let's get started and see if we can create something out of nothing. Okay, first of all, we've got about a two inch brush, and I'm just going to go straight into a little bit of white, I think, first of all. Wow, look at that jump off the canvas. And as we go out into the painting, I'm going to get into the darks. So we want the lights in the middle, and as we come into the out of the painting, we're gonna go into these darker greys. And it's just gonna create, create the effect of a bit of a, a rainy day on the streets and we're going to go straight into the dark here now here we are and we don't want to go too much further than that into the out of the painting we can go a little bit higher on the outside which is going to create the effect of that street okay here we are so we can bring those colors down we'll reflect those and those as well and a little bit of that white bit of blue in there too okay so basically that's that's what we're after at the moment. Now we've just got to turn it into something. Okay, and we can use a few things here. We can use a brush, we can use a palette knife, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to create the effect of uh, something happening back here in the distance. We'll see what we can do. Just some maybe... Yep. Background buildings, tall buildings. We can even get a few are actually a little bit thicker if we can. That's the effect we're after. And that way as well. So I'm not too worried about this at the moment because, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're gonna play with it and have a bit of fun doing it. So we get a bit of, it's almost going to be like a bit of a semi-abstract, I think, that's what we're going to do. But it should look like a city with some people walking down the streets, I hope, so let's see what we can do with it. Get some colour in there. And some reflections. Don't forget, a few darks around the outside as well. And... Get those darks in the painting. Right up the top, that's the way to go. Great knife work in this, so you can do a lot of playing around. Put a few colours over the top of others. Don't need that blue in there, what am I doing? Okay, like so, you can put a few darks over the lights. Bring it all together. Even the lights over darks, it doesn't matter. So we've got, almost got that bit of effect there. Okay, it'll all come together, especially when we fan the reflection. And we can even put a couple of highlights up the top of some of those buildings later on if we want. And we're just gonna fan that gently sideways until it disappears up the street. Okay, and back up there somewhere. I could find my knife, we'll use that one. And we're gonna have something back up in there. And you can even have a little bit of color. It 
just create that effect of that street line and even put in a few lines in your painting. So far we've stuck to this colour scheme we've got happening here. We're not going to change it too much. Let's give the effect of like a, an arcade or mall and some of those colours back down here where it goes from the dark into the dark. So we get those edges that are actually got a bit of light on them. Okay, that should just about be right I reckon. I don't mind it already, it's starting to look like something, considering I had no idea. When I started, I had a bit of an idea, but I wasn't sure how to go about doing it. Here we go. So we're just going to fan those gently sideways, give that a wet look, like it's raining, because we're going to have a few people in here with umbrellas and things. And if we go right out to the edge of the painting like I have there, I think I should get rid of that. So a little bit of dark, just on that edge, just so it doesn't go right to the edge of the painting. I think we'll try and keep that clear. It's got to help the effect, I reckon. So we'll just keep that clear of the edge. There we go. As long as it just sort of creates the effect that it's fading into the dark anyway, we can do that with a fan brush, any brush really and just fade that dark into that lighter colour that we've got happening there. Okay, now we can just gently fan that sideways. And we've got a little bit too much dark up there. I can see that for a start. Right up in there, so get rid of it. Okay, a little bit more light back up in here as well. A few more colours now. We can start playing with some colours. And we can do that, well, heaps of ways. Let's have a look. We can uh, create the effect of some awnings back in here. Back in the distance. Even up in these buildings up higher. A little bit of light on them as well. That's the effect we're after. Okay, just need just a hint of colour back in here. We can do that with a little a couple of little things happening back in here now. A little bit of yellow ochre. Street fronts or okay. Got a fair bit done for our segment there, so I'd like to see if you can come check it out in the break, come back and uh, join us and we'll continue on then. We'll see you then. Hi, welcome back, and we'll continue on with our little city street scene. And well, we're just about. Well, we could probably put some people in here. I think. I think we should uh, actually start doing that. So let's have a bit of play. We're going to be fairly large here. We're going to be right up in the foreground. That's our feature. So we're going to slip straight into some colours here. And Blue is one of them. A little bit of dark under there as well. So straight away, let's see what we're going to create here. If we're going to put any people in the background, we can always put them in later. But right now, I think we'll get some people in the foreground. And Nice pink dress. Looks apart. Better put the reflection in too while we're at it. Should have done that with the last one as well. Uh, blue. And just give that a clean with the tissue. Just gonna put a couple of people behind them as well. A little bit of burn number. Should have put that in first probably. That's okay. And another one in burn number. So it could be a guy in his suit or something. Let's have a look. There he is. And we'll go with a little bit of this in the background. And 
over here as well. Just step out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm almost in the painting here. Okay, so a little bit of colour there. And reflections. So, need to tidy some of those up straight away. I'm going to give her some legs first of all. We'll do that with that liner. And that's the effect we're after. Okay. Do the same back in there actually. And a little bit of that violet on there as well. A bit of a head. And I'm going to step in front again and just get a few more people in here to start to look okay. And we need some faces as well because we're going to have them walking towards us. They're not going to cheat. So look, they're all walking away. And a little bit of orange in there as well. A little bit of colour. There we are. We've got some faces happening. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's all we're after, it's just that little impression. There we are. And we'll give them a bit of hair as well, just to tidy it up. So, it's a lady in red, pink. And we can give her a bit of a handbag or something under there too, we'll fix her arm up shortly. And this guy here, you can have a head as well. Just a little bit of playing around here. Like I said, I don't even know what I was going to do when I started, so we'll just... It's all a bit of fun, bit of practice. There we are. I don't want more with dark hair. Give this guy lighter hair, see what happens. Bit of yellow ochre on that side. And need to fan some of those reflections now just to give us that wet look. And back in there as well. Could have done that first, but hey, doesn't matter. Still got the effect of the reflection in there. Same with this guy. Man in the suit. And we'll just clean that. But just imagine what you can do with some of these colour schemes. Any colour scheme you like, any background colour, doesn't matter. Create yourself a little street scene, just like we're doing here. Need to clean a couple of these brushes just to tidy some of these people up. And... We can do that just by coming back with your liner, just gently touch those colours up so they can highlight a little bit better. And this guy over here, he can be carrying a, a bag or something too. Okay, and back over here, a little bit of dark down the bottom. Reflections, one high, one low. There we go. A little bit of a fan. Push that one back a little. Okay, a little bit of a tidy up. And we're going to give this guy a blue shirt, I think. Nice business shirt. And that guy over there can have one too, I think. Yeah, this one he can have a white shirt. And a little bit of light on the side here as well. Okay, just a little hint of yellow ochre down there. 
a little bit of dark under the skirt just to break it up from the legs and make it look like she's walking okay make his trousers a little bit higher and we need to put in a few just a few lights across the ground across the just to make it look as if it is raining a little bit of a wet look so you can just see how much fun you can have with these color schemes etc doesn't matter about that you can bring that down into the painting as well looks like something back there in the distance okay here we go for time we're just about over and before we go too much further I'm just going to give this guy an umbrella. There we go. So we're just going to pick that up and make it a red one, I think. Okay, and we give that a bit of a reflection in the, in the ground too. And just to tidy that up, a little bit of dark under there. Just that hint. That's all we're looking for. Okay, so we just put those people in the background there, and that'll probably do for us this little segment so far we'll come back and uh, finish off so come back and join us in okay welcome back last segment we're going to finish her off um, okay what are we doing we're going to play around with these people we're going to put a f well we might have to do a lot of things here we'll see what happens you know. Just tidy a couple of things up there at first. Just don't like that. A few little things like that. You just need to just a little tidy up. I'm just going to get in your way there because I can't see because of that light. But that's the sort of thing we're after. And up there as well. Into the dark on the edges. That's what we're after. Don't come too far over the edge. Try and keep it all there. A bit of a vignette. Okay, and we're just going to tidy up some of those things in the painting and we can do that with a little bit of light on the side of a few people and on top of that umbrella. Like so. And just a few highlights here and there. Like around that collar, down the dress, of course, and that's the sort of thing we're after. And a little bit there as well, just on the shoulder, just to bring his shoulder down, it's not quite as high as that. So tidy these people up, have a little bit of a play with it. And we've got her arm, um, she'll probably be sticking out a bit further because she's going to be holding that handbag there that's what we're after okay and pick up a little bit of our background color here a little bit of white because we need to just touch a couple of things up white more than anything well a little bit just back in there over the collar it's a little bit too high that looks better and over there as well so we got this little guy here, it's just the same thing is happening there. A bit of light on there, a little bit of light on there as well. And we can reflect that. Even put in a bit of a street sign, I reckon. So nice and dark up here somewhere. So around about there somewhere, I should imagine. Just step out of the way so you can see that. Okay, a little bit of light on it too. 
And we can just play around with that a little. Okay, what do we got? Some nice darks. And we'll just put that base on the lamp. Old fashioned glass lamp. Okay, let's put a little bit of light on that. Bring it alive. Even put a little bit of colour, maybe just a little bit of yellow into that just to make it look good. It's going to look great with a frame on it. And here we go, a little bit of oil on there. And I might just have to mix that up just a little bit, a little bit of modified linseed oil in with the W oils. Don't forget we're using this odorless solvent free, fantastic, everything about it's great. So we're just going to put a bit of light up in there and a bit of light in there as well, just a little top on it. That'll do. Not a bad effect, and we can even get a few things happening back, back in here as well. Don't have to get the darks under that umbrella, just to highlight it. That's under his hairline there, so it looks like he's got light hair on one, got a light on one side there. Street lamps reflecting in there somewhere. Where's a yellow? right down here, so we don't want to overdo it too much. We'll get a bit of black into that just to take the sting out of it. Just the slightest hint of that, that's all we need. And a little bit of white on there as well. Don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, so you can play around with this forever. Lots of little things in the background, break up some of those buildings back in there. Just try and make it look as interesting as you can. Even a few little lights here and there. Wouldn't hurt. Pick up our liner once again. And just a few highlights here and there. So. That's the sort of thing we're after. Not too much, just a highlight here and there. It's starting to look all right. Well, it is looking all right. So that's a square end of the building. So, looking pretty good. So we're just going to tidy up here, get the frame on it. Don't forget the um, kits are available. If anyone wishes to have a go, you're welcome to do that. Um, check them out online. Just tidy his bottom of his trousers up there, just a little bit. Needs to be a go up just a little bit higher. That's better. Same with this guy here. He's... And there's a little bit in the middle of that light. So we'll pick up a bit of our white and we're going to come straight back into this just to give him a bit of division between his legs there. Just to make it look a bit more real. Okay, here we go. Got one foot up. Yep, looking good. Dark's back in there once again. Okay. Just a touch of a fan here and there, just to tidy it up. Going to put the frame on it shortly. It's a bit of a signature down there at the bottom as well. What colour we go for? I might sign it over there this time, just to change everyone's, change everyone around. Okay. Away from that yellow reflection, so I'm going to go with a bit of blue here, and we're just going to sign it right down the bottom. The frame is what's going to set this off. It's almost like a little bit of modern art, this. So you can have a bit of a play. Go and take some photos of streets and just 
the people in them and the cars and just have a go. Lots of fun, these street scenes. Could be any street anywhere in the world, wouldn't matter. So, just getting that signature in. Got a bit of a vignette happening, so we got the dark border all the way around. They always look effective. Don't forget, all the paintings are for sale. This one is uh, going up onto our website and it'll be for sale and all the proceeds from that sale go to the RACQ Care Flight. Just to finish it off, always makes a difference. Here we go, the finished job. Rainy days. Finished product, hope you had a bit of fun with that. Picked up a few tips. Look, we look forward to seeing you next time on Art Studio. Bye for now.